This is the introductory video to the VEX uh, VR Code CS uh, platform that we're going to be using for our virtual automated robotics. So just to get us into the uh, familiar with the workspace, uh, when you go to VEXVR.com, you're going to notice that you open up into your coded project. This is a web-based platform. It does not save your files for you. You're going to have to come up to File and then uh, Save, or File and Save to your device. What this will do, as we can see here, into your download section, it's going to move this project there. So when you're done working on your project, it's important to save your file. Uh, then if you want to retrieve it when you open it up again, you can load your file from your device. That is going to bring up your uh, file manager. And you can see that VEX VR uh, that I just downloaded. I would simply click on it and open. Uh, and they, you can see that this is a previous project that I was working on. But I'm going to start off with a, a new project for this just to take you for a tour around this workspace. The top center here is where you can name your project. This is a great thing to do, especially because you're going to be downloading and uploading it so you can keep track of your files. So please name it something that you're familiar with uh, that easily identifies what you're working on. There are, is a section for tutorial videos, a link to the activities that uh, we'll be doing on the VEX website, although I would prefer you to go to our Google Classroom. Uh, we have on the left here our different codes, which are divided into segments based on what they do. For an example, your drive ones. We have some sensor ones here. We have uh, some control uh, loops and structures here as well. So you can flip through these and get uh, more orientated with the blocks. To code, all you simply do do is drag and attach. This works like scratch or block-based programming that you may have done in the past. Uh, generally, the number sections are uh, able to be typed into for variables. When you look at different control structures, you may have to bring in uh, different operation blocks that fit inside those control structures. And this generally works by the shape of the Opening is the shape of the block that you're looking for. But again, we'll get into more detail as we program later on. If you can come up here, you can also see, you can look at your code in Python, which your blocks are actually in the written language. We can also have a monitor section to view our sensors. Up here is the playground. That will load your uh, virtual robot into the workspace. There are many different workspaces in here that are preset and preloaded for you that we'll be using. The first one that we'll be starting off with is actually the grid map. When you have this playground uh, loaded, you can change your camera views to view your robot. You have your play, your restart. You have your different headings and sensor values that occur up here as well. Uh, in order to start this, you simply just hit your play button and you can see that my code will run. Obviously, I have incomplete code here with an error, so uh, that's why nothing is occurring. But that's just an intro to the workspace. Again, when I'd be done with this, I would file whenever I'm done working on it, and I would save it to my device so that later on I could load it. So I would encourage you now to play around, become familiar, look at the different blocks and different workspaces and playgrounds to load in uh, so you can be orientated with the uh, VEX VR platform.